Hello and welcome to Upside Down. In today's quick tutorial I'm going to show you how to make Taoba textures inside ZBrush and after that create an alpha mask from them so that you can use it for sculpting on other models. Let's start. I'm already inside ZBrush. I will go and create a plane. We are going to make it poly mesh and I'm going to add a couple of subdivisions. Now that we already have a little bit more geometry on our plane, we can go and edit our behavior of the brush so that we can make it that it tiles once we get to the edge of our plane. The way to do it is by going to brush, after that to curve, and here you can see that there is a wrap mode, which by default is on zero, we are going to put it on one. And now if I go and draw on our plane, you can see that once I hit the edge, on the other side we can see that it starts showing again. This means that now we can easily draw on our plane and it will automatically tile on both X and Y. So let's start by scoping something very simple and after that transferring it into an alpha that we can later on use on another models. Once we are ready with our result and we want to create it as a texture so that we can use it as a mask on another brush and potentially use it for other models, we need to go to alpha, after that to transfer and then we click on grab dock and as you can see here it created our alpha. Now it's showing under our alphas for our brush that we have at the moment and now if we want to export it and use it in future on other projects we can just click on the alpha make sure that we have our alpha selected and after that click export and save it as PSD or any other format that we can use it in future. Now that we have our alpha created, let's quickly test it to see how it works. I will use a standard brush, then I'm going to put on drag rectangle and for alpha I'm going to choose the one that we just created. Now if I drag it, you can see that we are creating our alpha which we just sculpted. Thank you for joining me today, I hope that you liked this tutorial, leave a comment down below, like the video and see you next time.